Hello everyone, this is Leppy at Leppy's Lego. I'm bringing you guys my 2019 Clone Army. This is my first update ever. I'm pretty excited to bring you guys this because it's been in the making. I originally quit collecting Lego when I got into high school and gave away like all my figures and everything else. Except for a few, which you guys will see in the video today. But I got back into it recently within five months and I made a pretty decent collection back in just those five months and I plan to bring you guys updates on my clone army consistently probably every three to four months just so that way there's substantial growth within the army so you guys can visibly see it every time I do an update I don't want to do an update when it's just like one or two clones because what's the point I'd rather have it so that way you can see at least like 10 or more clones into the army every time I do an update and the clones are going to be consistently growing each time so stick around see the growth of my channel and the clone army as a whole because that is the primary focus of this channel along with reviews hauls and some cu some custom CACs reviews <laughs> but let's get into it First, we have the Clone Trooper Lieutenant commanding his platoon of about 36 and cannon. The lieutenants actually are in command of about this many Clone Troopers between 36 and 50. So, it's pretty unique that I have that many when I'm doing this first update. It wasn't necessarily planned, but it works. 9 by 4 9 going up this way, and then 4 across. 36. All from the Jedi Clone Battle Pack, so as you can imagine, I got a lot of Barasafis and Kiyati Mundis laying around. But this is the largest portion of the clone army, and I'm definitely going to try to get at least 50 to 75 clones total, depending on when they go out of circulation of the set, since it is like almost two years, and that's usually when Lego sets go out of stock and being made, being out of production. So hopefully I can get as many Phase 1 clones in here as I can, as these are my favorite ones. The Clone Wars uh, clones don't look as good in my opinion, especially with the leg printing on each one of these guys. And every single clone in here has the leg printing and is from it. I try to keep my clone army as uniform as possible, especially in large platoons like this. And then... Over here, we have the more, like, miscellaneous clones. The ones that don't really have a platoon because I didn't grow their army up yet. I'm going to try to grow up these individual, like, divisions of their platoons up to if their sets are still in rotation. Or if I can get some of the clones in for cheap. Here we have Commander Gree from the 2019 ATAP set. I like this figure, it's pretty unique for LEGO, they usually don't go all out and do fancy prints like this, and that speaks for itself for pretty much all the Kashyyyk Troopers, and some pretty well detailed figures in general, even these Scout Troopers that are from Kashyyyk, they're pretty detailed, and LEGO usually lacks in detailing on their figures, I don't really know why, I guess it's just the cost of production, trying to capitalize on the profits with each set. Not really putting as much detail as I can into each figure, but I guess that's why we have customs, right? So I have two of those Kashyyyk Scouts, and then we have two Phase 1 Commander Grees. These are one of the few guys that survived the uh, when I got rid of most of my Lego, along with the Bomb Squads. I had these Bomb Squads from the old Battle Pack with the Speeder, along with the Horn Company Troopers, but... I gave away the Horn Company Troopers, but not the Bomb Squad for some reason. But I also lost their helmets, so I had to order two Phase 2 helmets from CIC. Because before I made the channel and started collecting again, I was originally going to make a whole Phase 2 army. But then I realized how expensive it is just to get Phase 2 helmets and Phase 2 uh, Clone Troopers original. Or just order custom helmets so i just got phase ones and didn't order any helmets but these guys look even better with the phase two i wasn't really a fan of uh 
the phase one helmets on the bomb squads. Just didn't look as good to me. And then we have the old shock trooper. He's about the oldest uh, minifigure I have. Honestly. He's a pretty good one to have too. And then I got this pilot from Poppleteen Shuttle, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he seems to be a pretty rare fig in circulation. And there's not that many of them since the set was a retire a long time ago. And then we have the Art Trooper. He's pretty cool for a set that came out a while ago. Also, Captain. He's a pretty sought after minifigure. The Art Trooper. I don't really know what company or anything like that he's from. So you guys can feel free to leave that in the comments. And then moving on to the other base plate, we have my CAC collection. As you can see, it's all 501st because my favorite Legion is honestly the 501st, but it just so happens that they're also like one of the most expensive minifigures to collect. So I didn't want to order any uh, 501st like troopers. I'm hoping that they actually released a battle pack that's been going around on Twitter. And everything, the outcry for the We Won a 501st Battle Pack. I'm hoping that that comes out, and then you'll definitely see a lot of 501st Troopers come in when LEGO decides to do that. For my first CAC figure, we have Captain Rex. He's also my favorite clone trooper. He's a pretty detailed figure. Even the tallies on the side. I'm going to do a full review on all my CAC guys in my next video. So, come back. See that video if you want a full detail review of each figure. And then we have the ATRT driver. He's for my ATRT in uh, the 2013 501st one. I still have that set. I just don't have the original trooper, the 501st trooper, because I gave that away too, unfortunately. Then we have the 501st lieutenant. I like the helmet design on this. This is like the first CAC clone I ever ordered. Detailing on the helmet's really, really something else that I don't, that not that many companies can achieve like CAC does. I think that CAC is the best, honestly. And then my favorite custom troopers is the 501st Jet Troopers. I don't know if it's the green that goes like in the blue with the visor and everything, but it's just the way that these troopers look. It just really stands out to me. Along with the straps on each figure. That's really cool. So. Thank you guys for joining my video. And watching my clone army. Stick around for more updates. You can follow me on Instagram. Twitter. It's all Le Leppy's Lego. Instagram is... Leppy's Lego YT, that's how you'll find it, with underscores in between each word. So Leppy's underscore Lego underscore YT, and then you'll find it. I'm looking forward to interacting with all my viewers, and the more interactions I can get with them, the better. I'm looking to be involved in the community, and that's my main goal and main reason for creating this channel, is just to get involved with the Lego community. And most specifically, the Star Wars community as a whole. Just so that way I can grow my channel and grow my passion for collecting LEGO Star Wars. Specifically, clones. That's my favorite era and my favorite faction to collect. So, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Have a good day.